Oh, you're right, guys. Hope everyone's okay. It is blooming hot here, touching the 30s. Anyway, which is obviously nothing to those in America and Canada. But anyway, um, this is the video that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, I cut the uh, the tops off um, some of the spuds at the front because uh, a few had blight, and it is blight because the uh, the black spots all joined up and the leaves went manky. So um, I thought I'd better uh, reveal the um, the dirt pots, dirt bags, whatever they're called. Uh, this is Casablanca, and as it as always, what a lovely spud! And this has been in since the twenty third of March again. Yeah, so a uh, very quick reveal. And uh, what was there? Two two sea potatoes in the bags. And I was quite surprised, actually, the quality of the potatoes. I know I keep harping on about Casablancas. But they are, look at that, they're good. Clean. Lovely spuds. And for those of you interested in the, uh, in the weight, it was um, 800 grams, which is about one and three quarter pounds. But to me, new potatoes is all about the quality, not the quantity. Turn, look at them. They are absolutely lovely. I can't get over it. Just perfect size new potatoes. And uh, just to get them all out the, yeah, out of the way, really, um, the second bag is uh, Winston's. And now, remembering my disappointment from the last harvest of Winston's, wasn't hoping for too much, but uh, they all turned out nice and clean. I can only assume with these that the, the, the bag provided some sort of ventilation or allowed the moisture to drop out the sides because there's no scab at all. And honestly, these this bag was touching the pot that had all the scab. Well, it's a weird season so far. And these weighed in at 680 grams, and I've got my calculator here. 680 times 2.3 equals uh, one and a half, one and a half pounds. So yeah, chuffed to bits again. And when I say that this is the uh, the video wasn't supposed to happen, I saw these spuds. I thought I got to do something with these, you know. <laughs> so I'm making a frittata. Well, I'm guessing that all of you out there know that a frittata is um, a blank canvas. You could do whatever you want with it, eggs and basically anything. <laughs> so I'm just um, just trimming a bit of uh, flat leaf parsley there. That's uh, yeah, that's Kelly's um, cheeky prints at the front. Um, spring onions. These have been in since they they've been in, in the veggie pod since September last year, and they these are uh, Ishikura again. Tell you what, it, it, what's that now? Nine months? Ten months? Nine months? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and a few herbs. My little planter by the front door. Uh, I can't remember what's in there now. Marjoram, dill, a bit of curry leaves. Yeah, um, oh, rosemary, got some rosemary in there as well. And up the allotment, the uh, leaf and ground plot, I picked some uh, perpetual um, spinach, giving that a wash. That went into water as soon as I got home, just a bit wilting. And my first two golden courgettes, so they'll be going in as well. Okay, then here we go with the cooking. Bit of an awkward one to talk through, really, because this is like the archetypal student food. Everyone can do this. So all I'm doing is chopping up the herbs. Um, the rosemary I'm putting in a separate little pot because I will be cooking the potatoes with the rosemary. Classic Italian uh, combination there. And the rest of the herbs in with the other pot. I think the first lot was dill, actually. Yeah. I love the smell of dill. 
It's by my front door, big bush of it, and every time I brush by, oh, it's so lovely. Anyway, here's the um, Ishikura spring onions from last year. Just chop them into whatever size you want, really. And the courgettes. Yeah, same again. These are going to go in last because I like the flavour of those fresh. And I just chopped up the spuds into, uh, well, manageable sized pieces, really. I didn't show it, but um, pat them dry with a bit of uh, kitchen tissue. Stops them sizzling too much. Okay then, get a pan on the go. Uh, big glug of olive oil. My God, boy, so much Jamie Oliver. Um, in with the spuds. I'm doing this outdoors because I tell you what, it is so bloody not indoors. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Um, what you got to do, just dump brown these off for about 10 minutes. Uh, get the rosemary in there. Like I said before, a classic Italian flavour. Rosemary and new spuds. Pan fried. Yeah, like I said, about, about 10 minutes, but when you're, when you're happy, chuck the spring onions in. Scallions in America. Um, I've thrown the uh, spinach in now. This is perpetual spinach. I find it a bit... Um, the leaves are a bit thicker than normal spinach, you know what I mean? It doesn't wilt down too quick, so I've got it in quite early just to wilt down. And while it's doing that, get the cheese mixed in with the eggs. Four eggs. Give it a stir around as you do. <laughs> Well, like I said, courgettes in. These don't want to cook too long, so I, I, to me, I, I just like the taste of um, raw courgettes. And here we go then. Start cooking. And from now on in, guys, it's basically how to cook a western omelette. Um, push the egg to the side so it um, it drips underneath and cooks. If you want to flip it, ah, good luck. The rest of the herbs on top. And what I do, um, I, put a, I put a plate over the top to turn it over. Here we go. And then cook the bottom. And then back again to eat. Lovely jubbly. Well, that's about it, really, guys. Four eggs, bit of cheese, some potatoes, courgettes, bit of spinach, and some herbs. You can put in whatever you want. Mushrooms, tomatoes out the fridge. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And believe me, it was a very nice. I always say it. But then again, I would tell you if it was rubbish. Have a good one, guys. You're right, guys. We're going to stick on the old uh, cooking theme for the dig well spills the beans about eggs. When you use eggs, always crack the eggs into a container before you put it into whatever you're cooking. That way you'll um, intercept any bad eggs. Like for example, that uh, frittata I just made, four eggs. Imagine if the last one was rotten, whoa, all gone. Word to the wise guys. Mm -hmm.